The TA-83 and TA-84 Plus can help us explore the mathematics in different fields. For example, medicine. Suppose we had a drug that gets absorbed. The mathematical function y is equal to 15 times 0.84 to the power x models the amount of a drug in milligrams of an antibiotic that remains in the bloodstream after x number of hours. So as time goes on, there's less and less of the antibiotic left in the bloodstream. We can see what this looks like on a graph. We hit the y equals key and type in our function 15 times 0.84 to the power x. We know that this is going to be a decay exponential function because our term right here, 0.84, is between 0 and 1. So let's take a look at it. We hit the graph button and we don't see very much of the function. Well, let's change the window around so we can see most of what's in quadrant 1. We hit the window button and we change x min to 0 and we can change the maximum to 13. 13 or 14 would be okay. And y min we're going to change to 0 and x max well, we started with 15 milligrams of the drug, so let's set it to 15. And we're going to hit graph again, and there we go. Now we can see how this drug is being absorbed into the bloodstream. Now remember, the y-axis, the up and down axis, is the amount of the drug in the bloodstream, and the x-axis, the side to side, is the amount of time that passes. Now an important concept in exponential decay models is the idea of half-life the time at which half of a quantity remains. So um, we want to know when there is half of the amount of the drug left, we can use the trace key. And we get this little, little guy in the middle here that looks kind of like a spider, and we can move it back and forth with the arrow keys on the side. So let's see, half of the amount of drug would be about 7.5, since the full amount was 15. So I'm just going to move the arrow key here to the left and move it till, okay, so we can't get exactly 7.5, but we can get close. So x is 4.01, that's about 4 hours. That's the time at which half of the drug remains, approximately. Alright, so what if we wanted to know how much of this antibiotic in milligrams remained after, say, for example, 8 hours? we could hit the second key and then the trace button to access the calc menu. This will allow us to put in a x value directly, like 8, and it will calculate y for us. We see here after 8 hours, there is 3.718 milligrams of the drug left.